Hello, good evening and welcome. Welcome to the jungle. Now, I've not been down as you probably know for quite some time, off and on. I've only been doing like sort of an hour here and there when I can. I've been really, really busy. And uh, you'll see the results. Let me show you. All right, boys and girls. Now, underneath all this foliage are uh, some volunteer potatoes. I didn't plant them. Oh, actually, I probably did, but it was a couple of years ago. And they've come through. I didn't plant any potatoes in this bed this year, but they've come through as volunteers. And uh, they seem to be thriving. We've had the flowers on. The flowers are dropping off now, so we can, uh, we can dig them up if we want. And we will. Now, as I suspected, these are Sarpo Mira potatoes. Look at that monstrous beast. Yeah, the Sarpo Mira. And they're coming out of this hole here. I think I've got them all actually now, but I will have a dig around and see if we've got any more. That doesn't look like a sarpo. Let's see what we've got. Continue to dig. Yeah, because they are still coming out, look. As I say, these were volunteers. These were potatoes that when I dug them up last time, I missed. And you never catch them all. And I haven't planted anything in this bed this year. But... We're getting spuds out. It looks like a bit of a mixed bag, actually. There's some white potatoes in with them. I'll carry on digging, see what we've got. All right. <clears throat> so that's from three volunteer sarpos. The other two were quite close to the top. So there were a couple of little potatoes off those ones. The main one was this one in the corner, which was probably about 10 inches deep down. And they would have been no bigger, really. I mean, these are, these are a bit of an anomaly, aren't they? These little white ones. In fact, that's not a white one, is it? Um, but all they're definitely sarpos, these sarpo mira variety of potato. A little bit scabby on a couple of them, but most of them are in good condition. And they were free. I didn't have to do anything. I just got out of the way, let them grow. When they come through, I just left them and let them carry on. So yeah, free spuds. Now because I don't want my soul to be destroyed by the plethora of weeding that I've got to do, I'm taking it in bite-sized chunks and you've got to do this. You've got to sort of I can't just clear all this site straight away. It would drive me insane and destroy my spirit and soul. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort out the weeds in the individual beds, first of all. And then where they need to be topped up, I'll be topping them up with the bucket grown potatoes. Or rather the soil from the bucket grown potatoes. There'll be potatoes in there. There won't be many, but they did grow potatoes this year. And what the variety was, well, I, th I believe it was Charlotte, but we'll find out. I really need to get more organised with my labelling up of my potato plants and all other plants. But I believe they were Charlotte. We've also got, I think, <laughs> again, Sarpo, not Sarpo Mira, Malice Piper in, um, in these three buckets at the back. Along with a plethora of weeds. But they did definitely have potato plants in previously. So I'm going to tip these out. I'm going to get these. Tip them out. Get the potatoes out. And then uh, they can be used for topping up the beds. Alright, so now I'm thinking these must have been Red Dukes of York. Because that's what we're getting out of them. I'm, I do believe these are Red Dukes of York. Which are uh, an early potato. 
So let's have a route through. This was basically horse manure that these were growing in. I just filled up the buckets. But that'll replenish. That, that's not going to be spent compost. That's going to be replenishing the bed. Um, this previously had sapo mero potatoes in it this year. But that's going to be replenishing the bed then. And, and, and stocking it up. We want it up to the rim there. And then I'm going to cover it up with the weed membrane over winter and just keep it off unless I do some overwintering onions in it the world's your oyster there's about a hundred little new potatoes in there <clears throat> from three buckets now I only put one potato in each bucket we've got that many out not a fantastic haul but it's better than nothing isn't it it's not bad and as you can see we're topping there's only horse manure that I put in there horse manure and some uh, spent compost that went into those buckets so that costs nothing really and the seed potatoes were about when you work it out about 25p each if that about less than that probably about 15 pence each so it costs about 50p in total um, to get that and we're topping off the beds with some rich organic matter there. As I say, as I'm going along, I'm plucking out the little um, weeds that are coming through and then topping off the beds with the spent compost. Okay, so all the li little weeds... Ooh, my old bones! All the little weeds I'm going to pluck out, pop in this bucket, Won't show you that all day, uh, but clear them away, clear them away, especially these grass ones that are coming up. Get rid of them, and then if they haven't seeded or they aren't going to seed at this present moment in time, they're going to go in there, which is right behind me. Happily, these slugs are going to get uh, dispatched as well. And they're going to go in there, all the weeds, as we go along. I'm going to work my way through this bed. That bed will be done today, and that bed will be done. Bite-sized chunks, that's the only way you can do it, really. That's the way I can do it at the moment. And try and keep on top of it, but it's going to be too difficult. But as I say, we're going to have a plan, hopefully, where somebody can be helping us out. Big Ben. So that's going to be chopped off, weeded, chopped off, happy days. And uh, we'll be collecting spuds as we go. I've just tipped out this. Well, I can only well I can only describe as a neglected bucket of Charlotte potatoes, which was this one. Not a very big bucket at all. It's a ten-inch bucket, really, flower bucket. Um, but it's looking like it's got a bit of a bumper crop going on. So yeah, I'm going to have a route through that, see what we've got. Bits of glass in it and all sorts, but. Uh, I've got two of these buckets, so these are Charlotte's, which are new potatoes. A salad potato, those ones. Best off cooked and then eaten cold in a salad. But yeah, let's uh, let's have a look at this one. Looking promising, isn't it? Now where you can see those worms there, that's where the seed potato was. And uh, they've destroyed it, the worms. Because they do rot off the seed potatoes, generally. But that's the results from the one seed potato that was put in, the one charlotte that was put in. That's what we've got off it. And there must be a good, I would like to say a pound and a quarter at least, half a kilo of potatoes from one seed potato that was probably about that size when it went in. That's not bad. Let's see what's in the other bucket. There were only six potatoes all told in the other one of around about that size still better than nothing uh, and from the two buckets we've got my cup of overflow um, yeah not bad I'm going to take a look at the last six buckets now that were up at the top on the lady farmer's side and, uh, and see what we've got in those 
But this bed's get, certainly getting topped off at the moment. I should potentially be able to top this one off as well, once it's been weeded. So yeah, let's crack on with that. Okay now, so whatever variety these are, they, the buckets were only sort of half filled anyway. We put them in the ground in, I think it was back end of May, April, May, definitely back end of May, maybe even the beginning of June, so they were late planted in these ones. They are going to be a first early of some description, I'm guessing. Um, but as I say, they were only half filled with the soil, the growing medium, and they died off about a month ago, so they've had about three months worth of growing which is about right you know about 12 weeks they had that but i'm not you know i'm not hoping for massive results from these but we'll see you never know well they're looking like charlottes again to me these just pull the tops off let's have a look okay so those two beds and that bed have been weeded and uh, and topped up with the uh, the soil if you like that we've got out of these uh, tubs these buckets and this is the harvest that we've had from the buckets there's the red dukes of york not too bad here's the charlottes and the volunteers the volunteer sarpomera it's all right isn't it not too bad so I'm going to be distrib distributing those around friends and family because we've got tons of potatoes still left over in storage so we'll have plenty oh courgettes there look from here some decent courgettes over there as well um, I just took them because I saw them might make a soup with them I'll have a look actually at a soup recipe for courgettes because I've never done courgette soup. But we'll have a go at it. Right, if I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. Hopefully I'll be able to get a lot more work done tomorrow down here on the plots because I'm going to try and spend a full day down here and try and uh, make a dent into it. So uh, we'll see how we get on with that. But yeah, there's too much at the moment for me. With, with full time working... Uh, we've got stuff going on at home as well, the fence and the and the wall that I've been doing. It's just gone to rack and ruin down here, down at the plot, so that needs to be rectified. Otherwise, I'll be getting kicked off the plots. And that's uh, that's not in the game plan, you know. Right, if I don't see you through the week, as I say, I'll see you through the window. But I will probably be seeing you tomorrow, so take care of yourselves and each other's in each other. Can't speak, I can't think. Worried about the plots. Take care of yourselves and each other. Remember, we love you all. And keep growing with your heads down. And I'm going to have to keep weeding with your head down. There's about a week's worth of weed in here. To be th thoroughly weeded. But such is life. Alright, take care. Have a good weekend. Saturday night, Saturday night tonight. Don't get too drunk. You're up for the plots in the morning. Ta-da.